we're bringing another video to you here focused on the Ford E-Transit. This one we wanted to really showcase charging times. Charging times are a big impact with the E-Transit as charging times have to happen during your downtime. What we're focusing on in this video are the three chargers that you can get for your home that are available from Ford. We are not going to focus on public chargers. And the reason why is because public chargers vary wildly. You can get DC fast chargers, you can get just general EV chargers, and they all seem to change on their amperage and their charge rates. It's a little bit unpredictable as far as how fast you're gonna be able to recharge on a public charger. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to give you a video for what you can expect for charge rates on the Ford chargers that you can have in your home. And we're gonna focus on the three that are available. The first one and two are actually the same charger. It's the charger that comes from Ford, it comes in a nice carrying case, and it'll have two different plug-ins with it. Those plug-ins, the, the charger will automatically adapt to either 120 volt power out of a standard wall receptacle, or it will automatically, you can change the, the adapter on the top of it, and it will automatically adapt to 240 volt power. On the 240 volt side of things, you will need a NEMA 1450 plug installed in your home on a 50 amp breaker. Okay, that's where you get the 1450. The 50 stands for 50 amp breaker. We've tested all of them and we're gonna give you the rundown on exactly what you get with each of them. Let's start with the slowest charger available. The slowest charger is the level one charger with the 120 volt plug on the end of it. Standard wall receptacle. Everyone has this in their home. It can charge off of that. However, it does it very slowly. Let's dive into the numbers. It pulls 10 amps when charging. So 120 volts, 10 amps. The charge rate for the 120 volt plug at 10 amps is about 1.4 miles of range per hour of charging. And we're seeing about 135 mile range with our transit. What that equates to is 96 hours to charge it from zero all the way up to 135 miles of range using the 120 volt plug. Okay, again, this one is supplied by Ford. However, 96 hours, you're thinking, what's going on there? Let's break this down into more real numbers. It's not 96 hours, it's four days. That's pretty atrocious. You're not gonna wanna rely on the, the 120 volt outlet for daily recharging, okay? Have no fear, the next charger that we're talking about also comes from Ford. It's the same charger, you're just gonna swap out the 120 volt plug for the 240 volt plug and have an electrician install a NEMA 1450 outlet in your house. On this charger, what we get is 30 amps of actual draw. Let me pause here for a second. This charger here is installed on a 20 amp outlet and it's pulling 10 amps all the time. There's some safety factor built into there. This charger is installed on a 50 amp circuit and it's pulling 30 amps all the time, okay? You might be thinking, oh, I've got a 50 amp circuit, I should get 50 amps of juice. They, they build some safety factor in there to make sure you don't overcook your wiring. 240 volts though, that's a whole lot more voltage as well. So when we take 240 volts and 30 amps of charge power, what we end up with is 10 and three quarter hours of charging to go from zero to 135 miles of range. Again, that's what we're seeing out of a full charge with our e-transit. So 10 hours and 45 minutes. It's safe to say that if you want to use this thing every day, when you get home from work, you can plug this in on the charger and it will be ready for you the next day. 
Ford's supplied level two charger, all you have to have, or level one charger, all you have to have is a NEMA 1450 outlet installed in, in whatever charging area you're gonna work with and you're good to go. For us, we sprung for the Ford Connected Level 2 charger. And this one is a little bit more powerful. It's level two charging. It is 240 volts, just like this one. However, it uses 48 amps of energy. Um, you, the level two charger, you can actually set it to whatever you want to set it to. It's set at 48 amps, it requires a 60 amp circuit instead of a 50 amp circuit. Well, let's say your electrician tells you you only have room for a 50 amp circuit. You can still do the Ford connected charger if you wish. It's just whenever it's being installed, you would set it appropriately based off of the power that you can supply it with. We had room for a 60 amp circuit, so we set it on the maximum we could, which was 48 amps of charging power. It charges in seven and a half hours of charge. Charge rates that we're seeing, this one, the level one 240 volt charger, it's gonna charge at about 12 and a half miles of range per hour of charge. The level two charger, 48 amps, 240 volts, it's charging at about 18 miles of range per hour of charging. You might not think that that's only like five and a half miles per hour of range. You might not think that's very much, but if you're in a fast turnaround business where you need to have the vehicle recharging as fast as it can, it's worth it for the extra level two charger. And the way that we use this, we run a plumbing company out of my home. How, how we do that is if I need to swing by the house for lunch or anything else, I can plug this thing in on my level two charger. If I'm there for an hour, I just grabbed another 18 miles of range. That might ensure if I was worried at all that I might not have enough juice to make it through the afternoon or to run that extra call that came in late in the day, that level two charger helps ensure that I can grab the power when I need it. Another thing I wanna clarify is the unit charges the slowest from zero to 20%, and it charges the fastest from 20 to 80%, and then it'll slow back down again from 80 to 100%. When we performed this test, we made sure that we were in that center percentage range. In theory, you don't wanna be running your battery crazy low all the time. And if you don't quite need the full range that Ford offers for this guy, Ford would actually suggest to you that you set it to where it only charges to the maximum of 80 every time. It makes your battery last a little bit longer. So I haven't done that yet because some of my days are random. Some days I might only put 40 miles on the van. Other days I'm putting 130 on it and it's only got a range of 135. For now, I'm leaving mine charging to the full 100% until I get a little bit more comfortable with the range and our capability. We wanted to bring this to you just so you had an idea of what you were getting into and what options were out there. You're buying a transit from Ford the supplied charger is gonna get you by and get you recharged overnight. And it also is gonna have a connection if you get stranded somewhere and you just don't have any other options, you can charge it on the 120 volt outlet. It's just nobody's gonna wanna wait four days for the thing to charge. If it's at all possible for you, spring for that level two charger. I found mine for about $900 shipped online. It got shipped out to me, got it installed, and it works really, really well. Guys, tune in next time as we keep bringing you some more info for this e-transit. Feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. We're really dedicated to giving you guys honest and fair feedback from somebody who bought an e-transit and expects it to perform for our plumbing company. We're not some paid person by Ford giving you all this stuff. We're not some professional reviewing company that has a benefit to give you really good reviews. We wanna give you honest stuff. And so if we find something we don't like, we're gonna tell you about it. If we find something we do like, we're gonna tell you about that too. There's a lot of contractors out there that are wondering if this can work for their business. We're here to provide that information for you. Feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and, and that way you get notified as we bring out more information.